um, e for issues here, we will start by looking at the key developments in the uh, in the petrochemical market, uh, uh, and then we will move move on to see uh, how many how how much of new supplies are coming or will uh, have came to to the the market, and we will discover. How, how strong was the demand for PP and PE in China in uh, 2020? And we could uh, also discuss like, could China be able to, sus sus to sustain uh, such a strong growth rate in, uh, in 2021? And if China cannot sustain such the uh, growth rate then, uh, what would be the implication on the Southeast Asian uh, market? Yeah, so for 2020, of course, there is the, the pandemic, but as a result of the lock, lockdown, um, most of all of the com commercial flights was uh, ground, grounded. So how uh, Goods and uh, and parcel move uh, between countries mostly pushed to the con container shipping, and that is one of the re reason why uh, the shipping costs across the globe has uh, surged drastically. But uh, and when the lockdown take take place, I it was devastating on most of the businesses. But we see some uh, very unexpected demand. It start by the, 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 the demand for uh, the me medical protective equipment such as like mask and the uh, per personal protective uh, e equipment yeah, the hospital gown that actually uh, stimulate the demand for PP and, and polyester which go into these uh, sectors. And after that, we uh, see uh, demand from the food uh, packaging se sector and when the work from home uh, take place, uh, the demand for home up, uh, appliances like the air, air con washing machine or uh, 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 is quite, quite strong. Yeah, and um, we, we see all of this actually send the um the, 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 the PP price not only in in uh, Southeast Asia but we, we see PP price in uh, the West like in South America and the Turkey uh, to uh, historical high level uh, all of this we'll dis discuss in the next uh, slide but uh, one of the thing that we want to hi highlight to you is that uh, uh, towards the end of 20, 2020 we suddenly see re a reduced number of USA car cargoes come coming to to Asia that's because uh, first is because of the shipping cost Are too high it it it, it not um, it it not making the, the the economical sense for them to sense the cargo to this side of of the of the world and also the demand from nearby market uh, in south america was real really strong and uh, we we will see how this uh, Im impact on the malaysian uh, pe market so uh, we extract the freight Cost the data from uh, freight those uh, Baltic. Yeah, they are one of the most uh, re reliable freight cost track tracking in the world. And uh, as you as you know that uh, even in the normal market condition, about eighty percent of the global trade uh, by vo by volume are uh, carried by the sea freight. And um, since like. Uh, since the pan pandemic, we actually see that the freight rate has been uh, firm, firming up, but especially from no November, right? We see a drastic jump in the freight cost, especially from the the drought, yeah, from the drought, uh, China to north uh, to north uh, U Europe, where here is the blue blue line that re represent the. Uh, freight cost for the route China to North Europe that uh, surged by almost 230 per percent. Yeah, because of the the, the strong the demand, and from China to North America, uh, 
most east coast and and west coast of uh, North America, the freight costs are also in, increased between like twenty eight and twenty five per percent. That is why like and uh, for those customers that uh, they are uh, that you are buying from import and uh, if you are ex exporting your end product you will see that actually not only the freight costs are high higher but it's quite difficult to find the con container and the vessel e even until now the problem still there and uh, some of the industry experts they believe that uh, this condition might persist until Chinese New Year of 2022 so that is quite quite, quite challenging for import and export market and uh, the the high in freight cost is also one of the factors that uh, drive the PP uh, market high, higher. But um, there's other factors like um, if, if you see, right, uh, uh, in early uh, 20, 2020, when the pan pandemic took place, yeah, actually uh, the, the price did quite uh, quite steeply, quite sharp, sharply, but but then the the demand for PP fiber and PP yarn actually started to pick pick up when uh, the, the 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 world uh, desperately need mask and uh, and hospital gown. So that is where we we see that most of the the pro producer they start to switch pro production. They switch uh, from PP yarn to PP fi fiber or F or effort go to PP fiber pro production to meet the the uh, pro production of mass and the hospital cow. And uh, according to our day data by mid of April uh, 2020, you know 45 percent of uh, total PP output in China were actually PP fi fiber. You know, like um, and uh, uh, the entire month of April 2020, total PP output in China was about two two million tons, and 45 percent of that was PP fiber. So that actually caused the shortage of the other grades. You 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 know, like of uh, and then uh. Throughout the year, there's been up and, and down, but in uh, in in general, the trend continued to climb up un, until uh, beginning of March. Uh, this year, when the market uh, see uh, uh, a little bit of of, of uh, re reduction, yeah, but then like when when we all come come back from the Chi Chinese New Year. We see that uh, import PP prices surge up drastically. That is when the uh, the suppliers are diverting their attention to South America and the Turkey market. So this drought of price reduction actually sent uh, PP prices in Southeast Asia and, and China to mount to multi-year high level. Levels, but when we look at the South American and Turkey market, uh, import homo PP there is now at the historical high. Even uh, as uh, as of this time, uh, import homo PP to these markets are still uh, in the range of one thousand seven hundred to two thousand USD per per ton, because supply in those a area are still uh, very very tight. And then, like to ship the car cargoes to this market is uh, also the shipping costs are also quite high. Um, for the PE, uh, the market is also firming up, but is less aggressive than than uh, than PP. Uh, except for the LDPE. Uh, we see that like throughout the year 2020 because of the demand for for e for eva is is very very strong because the 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 chinese government they pump a lot of money into the the green 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 energy sector 
the sector like the the so the solar panel sector right so uh ldpe swing plan mostly uh switch to produce e eva for better profit ma margin that is why the, the 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 supply for l ld was quite quite tight and uh send the price prices to a uh, very very high level uh, now we look at the case of the PP and PE market in in Malaysia. Is actually tracking the international market quite uh, quite closely, like for both PP and 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 PE. It's all also take a big dip uh, in uh, March, 20, 2020. That's when uh, we started the lock, lockdown, yeah, and uh, is tracking high higher and un, until this moment is all already a um, multi year high level ready but i but uh, we think that uh, the other factors that pushing lo local uh, pp and pe prices in uh, malaysia high higher is because of the li limited sub, uh, supply because of the shutdown at a uh, draft camp as uh, we all know there was an ex explosion at the draft camp plan uh, on 15 march 2020 and the the entire plan was shut down yes yeah, since uh, since then so uh, at the time of the shutdown press camp were operating at about 50 percent uh, cap, uh, capacity so they have a PP line of 900,000 uh, ton a, a year uh, HDPE line of 450,000 tons and uh, a metallurgy line of uh, 300,000 tons all was operating at about 40 to 50 percent capacity at, at that time. Uh, uh, we heard some market talk that uh, Prefkem might be able to re restart by the third quarter of this year, but we re really have to wait and wait and see. Yeah. So, um, uh, be, beside the PREF camp shutdown, we also see that uh, the production rate at the uh, Petronas was not uh, so uh, st stable, especially at the LDPE line. They was on and, and off throughout uh, 2020. And actually, um, uh, uh, pay, pay Tronus, uh, is not able to, to, to supply to the spot market at, at the moment. They only can fulfill the, the, con, the contract obligations. And um, uh, besides the local production issues, we also see a, re, a reduced uh, availability of USA material. Uh, as we all know, like, um, by late 2020, the shutdown of the brass camp in Mexico actually create um, a supply a vacuum in this market and uh, it attract uh, USA supplier to di divert their cargo to, 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 to Mexico where the prices are much high, higher. And when we come back from Chinese New Year this, this year, most most of the PP and PE plant in US was shut down because of the the wind the winter storm, and uh, all, although at the moment uh, these producers are, are coming back on online, but they might need until end of the month to uh, stabilize the pro production rate, and they have a lots of back backlogs to clear. So uh, which means that USA material my absence from the uh, the market uh, in in southeast asia um, until uh, june or, or july uh, this uh, this year yeah? so um, some of the usa pro producer like like chevron phillips or exxon mobil they have a hub in in malaysia so uh, pre pre previously uh, malaysian buyers um, uh, we and we and we enjoy the availability of competitive uh, USA material, but in in re, in recent months, it uh, has become quite uh, quite uh, a, a, a diff, difficult uh, situation. So we might have to wait until uh, second half of the years for uh, this cargo to come again. Yeah. 
and um, let's look at the consumption rate for PP and PE in China market. Now, uh, you know, like um, throughout the year of 10, 2020, even though it is um, the COVID-19 the COVID COVID was quite bad, but most PP and PE plants in China were operating at very high rate, like some of them are, are even running at above uh, uh, capacity, yeah. uh, above the name nameplate uh, capacity. If we look at the the, lo the local pro production here, in 2020, 20, uh, the the local pro production yeah is about five mi five million tons high higher than 2019. That is about 26. Uh, per percent high higher for for PP and for for P, PE we see a, a similar trend for PE we see a similar trend where the local pro production all also grow by almost 25 per percent or almost four four million tons of a uh, of P, of PE output output here and China once again proved to <laughs> to be the, um, the rescuer yeah, of the global petrochemical market where they uh, they import 40 percent more of PP in 2020 and 22 percent more of PE in the year of 10, 2020 so uh, actually this come to no 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 surprise because for Chinese government they are their focus and it has been all, always been their focus to create a job to uh, create an, an uh, job security especially due, during a down a downturn so uh, and when uh, there's a shipping uh, e issues uh, is the government di directive to all the producer in local mar market to run high at higher rate to make sure that uh, the manufacturing sector has enough raw ma material to meet the, the demand so that is why we we see the pp consumption in 2020 compared to the previous year grow by 29% while the pe consumption grew by almost 24% that is this is one of the strongest rate yeah the the the, the strongest rate that we see since uh, two, 2008 when there was a uh, um, glo global fi financial uh, cri crisis, but uh, these are some of uh, these are uh, six new PP and PE plans that have uh, actually started up in 2020 successfully started up and at the moment they are operating a stable rate we uh, initially yeah uh, ex expected this plan to um to 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 uh, either the de delay the the startup because of the pandemic but actually this this is not the case they all come on online in uh, in 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 on on time and uh, add in uh, about about uh, 3.1 mi million tons of PP and more than 3 million tons of, of PE. And if you you see most of these these plants are, are adding the HDPE and PP pro production. So um, this is a very um, alarming yeah like most are HD and, and PP. So but on uh, on the other hand is that like China import a lot of uh, PP and PE in 2020, but uh, mm -hmm. they they buy, they produce, and they all also export quite a uh, quite a lot. So uh, this is the chart of uh, China export of uh, plastic pro product in 10, 2020. We see that there was a growing uh, trend here. Yeah. So. Uh, this signify the health, healthy the uh, demand from the overseas uh, market. 
but um, in 2020 China export mostly the uh, the, me the medical protective e equipment uh, food packaging and all, also the house house uh, um, home home up, uh, appliances but uh, the question now we are asking is that can China can China retain uh, uh, such uh, explosive growth rate in 2021 or or not? Especially with the uh, low low uh, in the local market, more and more PP and H HD capacity are coming on online, and uh, Chinese manufacturer might might face a lot of of, ch of challenge in exporting their end pro product. Or, or even in uh, maintaining the production rates, especially among the the the, um, the home up, uh, appliances uh, uh, sector uh, due to the global semiconductor short, uh, short shortage. But uh, we see that the semiconductor shortage might affect the PP more than HDPE because of the na nature of the end pro. Pro product yeah. and uh, be, beside that the government is all, also uh, uh, re reducing land landing so uh, market might see, see uh, uh, reduce um, uh, li li liquidity uh, cheap cheap loans might not be uh, readily uh, available for investor who uh, want to invest uh, on the few futures or stock market so let we look at the risk of um, reducing import demand for H HDPE now uh, we uh, compare the import demand of the months uh, January and February this year compared to November and December uh, last year uh, there's a 22% re reduction in the import or uh, arrival of HDPE to China. And uh, we decided to compare the months of January and, and February to November and de December. We think it makes more, more sense because this is the, the period where uh, China e economy regained the, the re recovering um, uh, pro uh, 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 page. Yeah? Uh, it makes no sense to compare to the same month last year. I, I mean, it makes no sense to compare to January and and February in 2020, because at that point of time, the the the, the Chinese e economy was un, under the the, lock, the lockdown. So uh, actually, we we see that uh, if we expand the the timeline, the reducing import demand for 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 H HDPE has been taking place since September last year. And uh, this condition might, might worsen in 10, 2020 20, because there are more uh, PE, new PE plans uh, com coming online. If um, all of these plans uh, uh, start up as per schedule, then chi China will see about 2.7 million tons of standalone HDPE capacity and near nearly 3 million tons of HDPE and LLDPE sink uh, pro production. Yeah? And like we men mentioned before that uh, the Chinese government is all, also uh, uh, putting uh, attention on the, the, the pollution. Uh, they have started to ban the single-use uh, uh, plas plastic pro products like uh, uh, our ultra thin bags and uh, fork and spoon and plas plastic bag. And uh, some of the industry experts, they believe that this ban could reduce the, the, the con consumption by about 3 million tons per year. So uh, looking at this um, uh, uh, the development, uh, import HDPE to China could re reduce by, uh, by about 40% four, in 2021. Uh, and why is this um, 
uh, uh, matters to Southeast Asian customer uh, is be, because if overseas uh, supplier cannot send their cargo to China, most probably they will have to uh, look for for another market to send their their uh, their um, uh, pro products. Yeah. So uh, these are uh, the list of new PE plants in China that potentially uh, would come online on 2021. We, we, we see uh, most of these plants uh, have heavily focused on HDPE and LLDPE, uh, HDPE and HDPE LLDP swing from production, not so much on LDPE and, and LLP. Yeah, so this is actually a, a threat. How about PP market? Um, we uh, uh, need a, a same com comparison and uh, the total PP uh, Im import for the month of January and February dropped about 10, nearly 28% compared to November and December uh, last uh, last year and actually the the pressure on the PP market is uh, stronger than than the the, the PE and uh, be it, this is be because we ex expect uh, China to expand uh, PP pro production in a, um, a, a, a more a, a aggressive man manner than uh, than P PE yeah so uh, China is turning into a net exporter of of um, of PP. So, uh, be, because uh, local PP plants are operating at very high rates, and more and more uh, uh, new plants are coming online, uh, local supply for PP in China is actually quite uh, lengthy at the moment, and uh, Chinese supply has been actively pushing the PEPP cargo to overseas market to uh, ease the, the, the pressure on the lo local ground. So we have com combined and compare the um, uh, chi Chinese, uh, this is the average uh, Im import homo PP uh, for chi Chinese cargo yeah, in, in the blue car color line. This is all based on CIF Southeast Asia market and the, the, the orange color line re, represent the homo PP from other origins. So um, actually we, we see that at the moment right uh, this, this week, the average uh, import homo PP from China to Southeast Asia market is about 160 USD lower than our, our, uh, other uh, sub, uh, suppliers. That is why we we see that like um, buyers in Southeast Asia they slowly turning to to uh, chi Chinese cargoes for more com competitive prices and also to reduce the the pro production cost so um let uh with the new capacity coming on online and stable production rate in china we see that move moving forward uh chinese ma material might consistently uh coming to uh, South, southeast asia so uh from by buyer point of view, this is a good news because you have more uh, choice of uh, of, sub, of suppliers. Yeah. So at least twenty new PP plants are coming on online in China in twenty twenty one, and uh, if all of these plants uh, come on online, uh, we could see another uh, seven point five million tons of uh, PP um, uh, uh, cap. Uh, capacity. So uh, by 2022, uh, local production might meet like about 90% of the local demand in China. No, really. So uh, we would like to hi highlight to you to pay attention to these three uh, uh, sub uh, suppliers. Not that they 
are having the biggest cap capacity, but they have already successfully started up the phase one of their pro production in 2020, uh, quite on on time. Yeah. So po potentially, they also have a bet better chance of start up the phase phase two of their production in 2021 on on time. And uh, be, besides that, we have all also touched a bit on the semiconductor chip uh, shortage. We see that for the, um, the, the, uh, the automobile uh, sector, some of the company have to suspend the, the pro production because there's not e enough uh, chips to, to to use yeah? and uh, the problem is now spreading to the home appliances sec sector um, at the moment there's no one no 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 exact da data to show like how much it has impacted the home uh, uh, appliances sector but some of the um, uh, uh, big house household uh, brand name they they claim that like for the semiconductor uh, uh, delivery in the month of march they received 10 percent drop compared to the pre previous month which means that slowly they could have to lower the the, op the operating rates too then um somehow the you know because of the na nature of the end pro product the short the shortage of semiconductor chip is expected to Im impact the pp sector the more than the, the H, HDPE. So like the PP in injection, PP block core polymer, uh, we might see uh, price prices come coming down more in the near term. Yeah? And for the shipping e issues, you uh, uh, after the Swiss uh, can, can, um, uh, block blockage, now the shipping cost uh, once again firm firm up, and uh, it's actually a uh, cripple uh, um, a manufacturer a ability to export their end pro products. So uh, um, uh, re re recently we see that uh, why suddenly uh, PP PE price prices in Turkey and uh, South America uh, shoot up drastically that one one theory in the market is is that like for Western uh, and U, US uh, and pro product by buyers they pre they previously placed the all orders with Chinese customer but because of um, the shortage of container and 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 vessels, the uh, cargo might not be coming on on time. So when the vac vaccine roll roll out, the the, the economic uh, activities are re resuming. The demand for end product is uh, quite strong. So they have no choice but to look for nearby uh, uh, sub suppliers to reduce the risk of of, uh, of being uh, of car cargoes being de delayed. That that is why the de the demand for PP and PE in South America and the Turkey uh, suddenly shoot up uh, drastically. So um, uh, looking at the the, the the liquidity e issues in China China um, uh, in 2020 the Chinese government pumped in about 500 billion USD uh, to 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 go to cushions the impact of the pan pandemic but um, starting this year the Chinese uh, 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 central bank has all ordered all the commercial bank to uh, reduce the land lending uh, because of the risk of the the the, uh, the bad debt yeah so um, uh, some of the the, the uh, the Chi Chinese investor might uh, find it difficult to access to cheap loan to uh, invest on the the Italian com commodity exchange, which is uh, one of the very important com component of the Chinese uh, petrochemical uh, market. 
So uh, that is why we see that uh, from beginning of the year and until now, the um, uh, the the, the, the Italian commodity action market has been uh, traded very uh, sluggishly, and uh, the the uh, the arbitrage uh, trade trader previously um, uh, uh, benefit from uh, this uh, pla platform are now diverting their cargo to the spot mar market causing the spot TP and PE market in, in China keep, uh, keep a a weakening. So um, since uh, China market has shown signs of slowing down, and uh, China might not be able, yeah, uh, very high, highly that they might not be able to sustain the, 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 the explosive growth rate that we've seen in 10, 2020. Um, we see that the, it started to pressure the South, Southeast Asia PP and PE market. And in, in fact, right, um, uh, since the beginning of March, until now, we see that Im import PP uh, to Southeast A Asia has been uh, uh, soft softening. Uh, uh, pa partially because of uh, the com competitive Ch Chinese car cargoes, yeah, and also the demand in our re region is not is not so uh, strong. Uh, most of the customers are, com are complaining that they cannot, they cannot tran transfer the cost of the raw ma material to end product, and they also cannot um, uh, bear the high ship shipping cost when exporting their end pro products. So um, uh, we we expect that in the coming weeks. Uh, both PP and PE prices in Southeast Asia would have to come come down. So um, if we do, we would discuss this met metamorphs like we we uh, will up, uh, update you uh, on the day, day, daily basis. All you have to do is just look in, into our, our website or just uh, ping, ping us and we uh, will keep you up um, update regarding the new off offers. You know, like um, even... Uh, just yesterday, uh, our Chinese suppliers have actually uh, re, re, reduced their home OPP prices to uh, by about 20, 20 to 25 USD compared to last week. So export uh, price from China now is about 1270, 1280 FOB China already. So we shall see. Yeah? But um, in the in the in the medium term, uh, in the, uh, the remaining months of 2021, we would like to discuss three uh, three c scenarios. There are three c c three scenarios that we need to take into con considerations. Yeah, the first one is that like when the global vac vac uh, vaccination program. Uh, roll out so so successful that actually uh, boost the demand like 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 strong strongly uh our the car car sales you know the air the airport will, will be packed on um uh, con consumers will be coming back for for revenge uh, uh spending <laughs> yeah like we we see the tra travels and ser service uh, se sector re rebound strongly and um by this, uh, uh, the 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 Asian uh, manufacturer could 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 uh, really really be, uh, benefit. So, uh, in this best case scenario, we see that raw metal con consumption might grow up to six per percent this this year. But um, the second the second scenario that we need to take into uh, account is that um. Uh, actually, uh, the demand come back just, just so so yeah, just 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 maybe okay. Uh, and uh, some of the pro product that we 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 pre previously uh, uh strongly in need like mask and um the hos hospital gown, the this demand will be re reducing. 
yeah, this demand will be re reducing, but then, um, it, but then, uh, customer, uh, like for consumer, they are still not so confident in, in, tra in traveling. Um, people are returning to the air, airport to fly overseas, but it's uh, not as packed as we could, uh, we could wish. So in this case, scenario the growth rate is that the market is still grow, growing but in a slower pace of uh, about three three percent yeah and in the worst case uh, scenario is uh, that one of the this is less li likely to have happen but uh, we would like to bring to you for the for the for the discussion is that like since the cent central bank are pump, pump, pumping so much of mon money especially in in the west yeah, the, 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 the 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 in the inflation might be out of con control so uh, it will be de deterring consumer uh, spending on car housing and and for and for it travel but um this might not cause uh, the uh, 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 an, uh, uh, negative growth in um, plastic con consumption, but we could uh, we could only see the growth rate um, at about one 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 percent, not 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 as strong as we could like to see. So. Um, these are the main topic that uh, we cover in today uh, uh, this discussion and um, here are some of the, the crack crackers uh, in Southeast Asia that will be having main maintenance shutdown in 2021 for your, your, ref your reference and if you need any uh, further information uh, just uh, just let us know yeah so uh, Thank you, and that that's it for for today. If you have any any question, question we we can discuss. Do do you have any any question? Oh, okay. Um, we receive uh one one question here. Uh, be, beside China PP cargo, what other country uh PP cargo you expect uh to export to Malaysia market in twenty twenty one? Uh, of course for for Ma, for Malaysia market um. Uh, we uh, would pre prefer uh, cargoes from uh, con countries with uh, new duty uh, advantage like from South Southeast Asia uh, like Thai, Thailand, Vietnam and even South South Korea. Uh, I think that for South Korean cargo is more like likely to come to Southeast Asia as a whole and to Malaysia market uh, alone is be because there are few expansion in uh, South Korea this uh, this year. Yeah, um, for Han Han Hoa, they just started up the four hundred thousand ton a year PP plan uh, last last week. They uh, are off operating at full rates now so we shall shall see uh, more car, cargoes from south Co korea and uh, may maybe uh, uh, some cargoes from thailand and and vietnam too yeah. and uh, apart uh, the second question we receive is apart from import pp cargo local producer prefcam expected to resume operation in Third quarter of 2021, what is your forecast of price range in uh, second quarter and third quarter <laughs> in 2021? Well, uh, uh, 
Well, um, uh, for the third quarter, it's a bit difficult to to um, to forecast at the mo moment since uh, the world is spin spinning uh, so fast and there's so many un unexpected uh, um, uh, movement. Yeah, so uh, let we look at uh, let we be uh, more more real real. Real, uh, realistic a bit like like in terms of the time frame i think within the 20, 20 uh, within the se second quarter uh, most probably import homo pp would have to um, come back to the uh, 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 around uh one two five oh to one thousand three hundred to be to be uh, uh more more reasonable and then towards the end of the year when um is the is depending on whether uh pref cam can come back online or not right <laughs> so it's it's uh, quite difficult to to say now but uh if uh pref cam is able to come back on online that could um cast a blow on uh, the on the lo local PP market but if they can't come back on online then um, there's uh, cus cus customer might, might find it more um, uh, five uh, uh, im import car cargoes are more competitive Uh, may I know your speculation forecast for LDPE and LLDPE in May and June 2021, especially uh, Southeast Asia and Malaysia market? <laughs> okay, uh, LLDPE and LDPE is mo moving in a two different di direction. For LDPE, I think that uh, the go the government, uh, for my my um, per personal point of view, is that like the government, uh, especially the Chinese government, might continue to pour money into the green uh, green air, air energy, so that would con continue to boost the demand for the so solar panel. And therefore, uh, for LDPE and EVA swing producer, they might find it more attractive to uh, switch to 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 E to EVA. So uh, we we shall see that the LDPE market might uh, tighter than no, normal. Uh, for May and and June is uh, you did some of the customer were hoping that uh, import LDPE might fall below one thousand three hundred. I think uh, this is less likely to happen in May and June. And in um from the 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 manufacturer um point of view, yeah, in the best case scenario, I I. Think that if price was to come come back, it might only come back to meet the uh, thousand four uh, on the CIF term for for LDPE. But for LLDPE, uh, the market is actually coming down now. By next week, most of the overseas supplier would open new price for May May delivery, and we ex we expect a at least uh, 40 to 50 USD re reduction compared to uh, to last month. That is from the overseas market because the, 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 the demand is real, really weak. The demand for LL and HD is is real is really weak. But uh, uh, for the Muslim countries like Malaysia and in Indonesia is is the fasting month, so it could Im impact the food pack packaging sec sector uh, slightly. And uh, we see that for Indonesia, the government still banned the the in the interstate tra travel for Ram Ramadan. So um, we see this I actually. Uh, impact the food pack packaging sector quite uh, drastically uh, some of the um, our, our customer have 
inform us that right the end pro product uh, buyers has requested them to postpone the the the, the, the delivery of the packaging i items because they expect the demand is not as strong as the, as they, they 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 expect so um, we we see that uh, the PE is come coming down, but um, it shall not be too drastically. For we are ex expecting about like forty to fifty USD re reduction in the import market for next next month. Yeah. So uh, we have thank you. Question. Yeah, any more questions from the attendees? Uh, you can just pop up in the uh yeah, in the question box, chat box, then Miss Rochelle will try to answer to you. <laughs> I I could try my okay. best. Yeah. Okay. yeah, then uh the next question will be from Mr. Lola. Uh when would you expect US and Middle East uh makers to resume offering competitive LLDPE to Malaysian market? Yeah, from Mr. Lo. <laughs> Like we uh, discussed uh, just now for USA pro producer, uh, most probably they only be able to, re to resume offering to Asia market by second half of the, the year. By the, the, uh, the earliest is June or else uh, in July or, or in, in, or in August. Because uh, at the moment they are trying to stabilize the pro production rate after the wind the winter storm a uh, good news is that they all have uh, start started up they all have started up but uh, to stabilize the rate they they need more time and then they uh, need to clear the the back backlog and uh, we could have to to see how long the demand in uh, south america market could sustain you know be, be because um uh, if compare right, uh, import LLDPE to South America market now is about one thousand six hundred to one thousand seven hundred USD per ton on the CCF atom. While in Southeast Asia market, we are not able to accept price above one thousand three hundred. So the <laughs> the price gap is there. If by uh, June or Ju July. Uh, this price gap uh, still there then uh, uh, for in international suppliers they could still uh, pre prefer to divert their cargo to uh, where the, 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 the money is <laughs> so uh, mo moving forward I think the trade could be more to to regional not like um we we uh we will continue to monitor the market and uh if we see any new de development then we will up, um, update you but uh, at, at the moment uh all um all we can do is to come out um the 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 the, the, the scenario and uh to uh, to discuss the, the the possibilities that's all we could do at the moment Okay, uh, that's a good answer from Miss Rochelle. And then, is there any other question for the Q and A? Yeah, from any of the attendees. It's all okay. Like um, you have um, uh, you uh have. Uh, my my num number you uh, all all you have to do is just ping ping us then um we uh will will up, update you with the late, latest uh, information that we 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 receive from the market okay another question from mr lee chi Seng. Uh, so, looking at the PE expansion in China in future, is there any possibility to import LLDP from China to Malaysia? Yeah, Ms. Rochelle. Uh, yes, I could, I could like to say in the near term, yes, 
and uh, in in fact at the moment we are seeing we are seeing uh, some PE cargoes uh, some chi Chinese PE cargoes come coming to Southeast Asia but um, um, it's not as much as PP yet but yes they are they are come come they are coming. Okay, any more questions? Uh, uh you know this uh com company there's a company just new newly started up by the end of uh, last year called the uh, Sinochem uh, Quang 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 Cho. Sinochem Quang Cho. They've been act actively uh, offering uh, PE car cargoes to the ex export market. So the latest offer we received was at about one two three o FOB China for but most mostly they are selling uh, HDPE at, at the moment LL they do off offer but is in a very small quantity and uh, for PE um, we might see more H HD coming. Uh, LL might not be as much as uh, we would like to see. The, um, um, the, la the, la the largest uh, uh, grid could still be PP uh, in, the near, in the near term. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, currently there's no new question yet. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe from my side, maybe I just ask one question to Ms. Rochelle. Uh, there is an anticipation on the PP and PE price we expect to go downtrend. So will this downtrend go down uh, slowly or will it go down sharply like the increase in the PP and PE recently for the last two months in the local market? La? Yeah. I... I think for 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 PP, um, prices should go down sharper than than PE, because you see if compare the two grade right, uh, over the past few months PP prices uh firm up uh, in a faster pace compared to PE, so when it come come down, I I think PP should should re reduce in a faster pace. Uh, in in fact, actually, um, uh, compared to uh, at the beginning of March, right, the the average import PP to Southeast Asia has fall, fallen about hundred forty to hundred fifty USD. But um, uh, after after talking to some of our our customer in Malaysia in in Indonesia, uh, they have ex expressed. They have uh, they have ex expressed their will willingness to uh, buy import PP cargo at about one one thousand three hundred to uh, around one one thousand three to one three three O CIF them. and um, actually uh, except for Chinese car cargoes at the moment uh, other sub suppliers they still re refuse. They still refuse to sell PP be below one one thousand four hundred. But um, I think the 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 pre the pressure is build, building up, and uh, most probably they will have to to step back if they was to attract the customer in South Southeast Asia market, because uh, in our re region at the moment is the off off peak season. Is the, the 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 festival in Thai Thailand? Uh, is the fasting month in in Indonesia and 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 uh, Malaysia, and is the the rain the rain raining se season in in Vietnam, and then we see that uh Chai, Chinese supplier is very act, act, very active, so um if you don't um uh. 
uh, off offer or you don't uh, con constantly uh, offer your cargo to the market at one one point of time like the it, it, it is dif difficult for the customer to to come back to you and your off offer are too too high and um, uh, for for even for p p e um it's it might be difficult for uh, PE to drop uh, too drastically, but like we discussed just 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 now that for May shipment of offer prices uh, should go down at, at least forty to fifty USD. Uh, con considering the weak weakness in the 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 Italian market and the sluggish de demand. Um, yesterday, we have received some new offer from overseas market to uh, from overseas supplier to China market and uh, mostly have come down about 30 to 40 USD. So we are waiting for new prices to Southeast Asia, but um, we see the, the Dow trend. Okay. Okay, thanks for the information, Ms. Rochelle. And then we have a new question from Mr. Lee again. Uh, so he's, he's asking whether is there any new expansion for PP and PE capacity in Southeast Asia for year 2021 and 2022? Yeah, that's his question. Um, yeah, I... I think there are all, always um, um, uh, uh, re, a, re, a reason, but uh, for China market, the big, biggest and the main um, a re, a reason is that uh, job, job security. So they will keep ex expanding their, their, their pro production and the first op objective is to create jobs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's to create a job. That's the most important thing. Okay. Then okay. Next is uh next one is uh, Mr. Lola. He's asking another question. So in your slides, there is a huge pro production capacity expansion of HDP and TP in China. What is the main reason for HDP expansion? Is it due to demand search of a particular industry? Yeah. Actually, like I, I said just, just now, uh, China keep expanding their pro production and um, the first objective is to create job. The first objective is to create job. Yeah. So uh, um, actually for H, uh, for, for, you, you know, it, it makes sense that they, they, they leverage the um, the the fit the fit stock that they have like for you know in 20, 2020 like china china they 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 they, re, they rapidly expanding the re refinering uh cap capacity so when they refine crude oil they pro produce more uh by pro product like naf nafta so uh, that is where like they all also expand into Dow downstream pro production of PP and and PE to take ad advantage of the of the 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 uh, am, ample uh, feed stock that they have from the expanding re refinery cap capacity, and um, we would like to note to you that. Uh, uh, be beside the HDPE and P, PP pro production expansion, we are also seeing more and more com company are uh, up applying for for permission to build a bi bio de de degradable um uh, uh, mat mat material because uh, the the government is uh, ban, ban, banning the single use uh, uh, non biodegradable uh, plastic pro products so uh, chi chinese company are ex expecting that the demand for biodegradable uh, material would increase drastically in the com coming years so they are taking this op opportunity to either expanding their existing production or build, building a uh, new new one mm. okay 
thanks for the sharing me social and then uh, currently there's no new question yet any more any other participants there's any other question that you'd like to ask Okay, there's a question from uh, Mr. Brandon. So, uh, Ms. Rochelle, with the rollout of vaccination in the Southeast Asia, lah, will the improvement on in demand able to balance the oversupply? That is Mr. Brandon's question. Yeah. Um, actually, the fact the vaccination roll rollout, I I see that is quite quite Im, imbalanced. Um, this morning I read um our news about the the fact the vaccination rollout in the the Philippines is so in ineffective that uh, with the population of hundred and ten me million people if they start they, if they target to vaccinate about 70% per percent of their, their population, that is the bare uh, amount to achieve the herd uh, immunity, right? It could take them nine years at this rate, right? So, so actually, uh, is how, how fast the demand can come back depending on how effective is the vaccination pro program. So uh, in some country, we are vac vaccinate like uh, faster than the uh, other con countries. But you you, you know uh, um, my my con my concern is that you, you um, uh, the C C the C C D C in China China they just claim that even their own vac vaccine is not very e effective to 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 pre to pre prevent the 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 the, the spread of the vi virus but each step we take is is it's just like adding in one layer of the pro protection for our ourselves so my my fear is is that even after the vaccination people are still re reluctant to 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 travel the 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 the, to, the, to, the tourism industry is actually one of the very uh, important, you know, the, the, the travel and tourism uh, industry is actually one of the very uh, important uh, um, con consumer for our end product, for the plastic end, end product. But if this sector is not coming back as fast as we wish to, then uh, actually it's, um, it's a bit... Um, uh, it um, the demand might not be recovering e fast enough to to overcome to 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 bear to bear balance with the new sub supplies come coming into the 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 market, the market. but uh, uh again we have to 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 monitor how fast these supply are come coming good of the company in China, China, like just just now we we discussed, like would all of these plants are coming up online on on time as they plan or or not? Yeah. But we hope we cross fing finger. Yeah, <laughs> we hope and we cross fing finger that you know that and uh, that the 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 demand good good good. Could recover uh, uh, in a fast in a faster pace. Okay, thank you, Miss Rochelle. And then uh, currently, you have another new question from Mr. Wong. I think so. Uh, OPEC Plus agreed to lift output gradually from May to July, while Iran is boosting production. Do you think PE and PP price will be less fluctuate or even going down for the coming months? Uh, yes. I uh, I uh, I agree with you that maybe in the second quarter of the year, um, uh, PP both PP and PE uh, off offer shall be uh shall be uh, stable to softening. 
be not not on uh yes uh, the crude oil factor is one one of the one of the one of the factors but we all also seeing the 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 supply is uh, slowly come coming back like as you know in the first quarter of this year there are some of the plant in southeast asia were having a main maintenance shut, shutdown uh chef chef chevron phillips were having shut down at their H hd plant uh ptt was have uh, in thai thailand was having shut down um uh Petronas were initially planned a uh, shutdown at most uh, HD and LL line, but uh, they 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 postponed it. And some of these some of these plants uh, should be able to come back to no normal operating rate by the sec by the second quarter. And we hope this uh, would actually ease the supply tightness in in Malaysia. Okay, thanks for the info, Ms. Rochelle. And then, uh, is there any question, other question from the participants? Really informative information shared by Ms. Rochelle regarding all the questions that was answered. Yeah. Okay. Currently, there's no question yet still. Uh, uh, actually, um, we shall slowly uh, see some of um, the PE cargoes from from Philippines too, because uh, uh, JG Summit has re, uh, restarted their 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 plans. Yeah, um, they they ex they expanded the um, the the crack. Cracker, they expanded their PP plan and then they are build, building new uh, H, HDPE plan in the in the Philippines. So all the expansion work has been done. Uh, they just restarted their plan uh, uh, at the beginning of this month, and uh, we shall see some of their their, their car, cargoes, except for the new HDPE plants, uh, 250,000 tons per year. They could only be able to bring online by 2022. And we see that for in Indonesian uh, producer Chan, Chandra Asri, uh, they are also exploring the ex export um, uh, of opportunity so these uh, four to five weeks uh, they con they con consistently uh, 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 locate some export uh, one one quantity to test the the, the water yeah. let's see how how uh, overseas uh, customer respond to their their car cargoes and uh, in 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 all oh, in Oman, there's a new uh, PP and PE plant. Um, it's a joint venture between uh, this um, uh, the, uh, this all all pick. The new company name in uh, the new company is uh, OQ Chemical. Uh, they also just started up their plant late last year, and they are pre-marketing cargoes to to Southeast Asia market now. Um, quite com competitive price level actually. They are um, will they are willing, uh, uh, they are will they are willing to sell um HD and LL at about one two three O C C I F uh to Southeast Asia market. But this is a very new plan, so um, I'm not sure if uh many customer would like to test their car cargos or not. Okay, uh, so and then I uh, just got a new question from is uh, from the Facebook lah. Actually, Facebook somebody commented, uh, Mr. T. So he was asking me, Rochelle, do you expect the P, uh, US PE cargo to come back when Turkey and South America demands reduce? Uh, yes. Uh, if uh, talking about whether they come back or not, we shall expect them to come back. Uh, by the 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 uh, the earliest is in June, and um could take uh, up to Ju July for them to come come back. 
uh, in term of coming back, yes, they are come coming back once the uh, they are able to stabilize the pro production rate. Uh, may maybe by the end of uh, of this month, they shall be able to stabilize the pro production rate. Uh, it takes uh, a bit of time for them to uh, clear the back the backlog. And so uh, we expect uh, U.S. cargo to come back. Uh, let uh, in the the, uh, the earliest by June, but in terms of pricing, we um, we really have to to monitor first. Yeah, um, when they come come when they come back, their prices might not be as competitive as we uh, see last time at three three digits, right? So um, when when they Come back in June, in June or July, their prices might not be at that level yet. So we would have to see how the market situation at uh, that point of time. Okay. Uh, thanks, Mr. Shell. And then we have another question from Mr. Lo. Uh, how about supply and demand in Indo uh, situation in Indonesia following the Pertamina fire accident? Um, actually, um, when the yeah yeah like for those cast customer that you have you haven't heard of the incident, that uh, actually um, there was a fire fire at Pertamina re refinery, um, and uh, this re refinery right um. Uh, they 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 supply a uh, propylene fit to another uh, producer in Indonesia that is a uh, po polytama, but actually the fire broke out at uh, at um at a storage tank. So when uh it ha happened, the company immediately shut down all the rest of the the plant in, including the pipeline that tran transport propylene to 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 polytama so uh polytama plant has been shut for about two two weeks or or already but uh when it have happened it create um knee knee jerk reaction from the market like a customer rush to buy uh some one one just in case that the shutdown take long, right? But it's ex expected that uh, Polytama should be able to re restart their PP plan uh, today for 14 of a a April. And we don't see uh, any uh, strong impact. Like we, we, we don't really see a really strong impact in, in Indonesia market because actually the demand in Indonesia is is very weak is is very very weak and then uh, pre previously um in indonesian customer they were they they, they bought quite a bit of chai, chinese ma, 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 materials so uh most of these materials are, are arriving by mid of this month so the customer are, are waiting for they are pre previously purchased cargo to to uh, to arrive. They are not in rush to actually buy new new material. So um, we don't see uh, a strong impact on the on the uh, market uh, after the fire in incident. Okay. Okay, and another, another question from my side, lah. So, uh, Ms. Rochelle, uh, will Trade War 2.0 happen after the pandemic is uh, been slowed down, uh, Trade War 2.0, between the US and uh, China, I guess. Yeah. So, right. What's your opinion on that? Uh, and what uh, will the manufacturer need to do uh, from the manufacturer side? Yeah. Well, um, I, I think because of the pan pandemic, every other um, uh, e issues in the world become so subdued, right? All, all the fo focus are on the on the pan pandemic, but I think most probably China and US will sit down to 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 negotiate um, the 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 trade 
uh, link between the two na nations but uh, i don't uh, uh, for me like because looking at the U us side now they are more the the more diplomatic than the the, the pre previous government so i i think that uh, the trade war might not get worse <laughs> okay the trade war might not get worse is i i just stay at the car, current con condition or the two con country might find a way to ease um, uh, slowly gray, gradually ease the pen, pension uh, to 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 uh, to allow the 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 economy to recover that could be the the mutual uh, um, uh, uh, be, be benefit for for everyone yeah okay yeah, yeah. okay uh, so yeah any more last question from the attendees uh, yeah before we end this Uh, I'm not too sure whether uh, just now Ms. Rochelle will answer this question or not. Uh, that's from Mr. Wang. La. Hi, he, he was asking how was the demand for the automotive uh, demands in quarter two and quarter three? La. The automotive uh, yeah, industry. Uh, well, I, I think for the car, car sales, um, um, Things should be get get getting bet, uh, bet, better, but um, be be cause for most of the West Western like we we see that the um, uh, automotive demand in the West should uh, slowly re, re recover because the um, the in the interest rate now are uh, low the, the the government uh pump, pumping more and more man, man, money into the, the the economy so uh the demand should be uh slowly Im, Im, improving but uh whether the production can catch up or not is another um a question yeah like we uh we we discuss uh, um uh, the so the semi con every car manufacturer were able to sustain the op operating rates some of the plant have to shut down because of the chip short uh, shortage so this could uh, create a hiccup in the the supply side so um, some of the ex experts, they believe that this uh, chip shortage might persist throughout the year of 2021. So this could uh, Im impact the growth uh, rate in the, the, the our, our automotive in, in industry. But um, maybe the new car sales uh, might um, might be impacted by these e issues but we should uh, watch out for the use use car sales for the side of the 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 the, e, the economic re recovering pro progress not like but uh, if the new car sales slow down then we might uh, uh, see that prices for pp uh, block call copolymer or uh, a abs or uh, even uh, HIPS uh, might be impacted as well. Okay, cool. So thanks, Ms. Rochelle, for answering that question. So uh, one last moment, if anybody have any other question from the participants, yeah, before we got to do a conclusion for this. Uh, there's a new uh, uh, there are two
two two new PP plan in uh, South Korea actually. Uh, one is um, Han Han Hoa Tote, uh, four hundred thousand ton a a year. Uh, uh, started up op operating at full rate, mm -hmm. and the other one is SK Care Chemical. They also have having a new PP plant. So um, we we see that um, uh, not only in Chi China but in South Co Korea, uh, they are also uh, expanding their pro production uh, quite um, quite rapidly. Quite rapidly. Okay, I don't see any more question, and it's about time lah. So maybe I do a conclusion from my side. So okay. firstly, uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Rochelle for such an informative uh, speech from you and about this uh, quarter two outlook for this uh, petrochemical products. And really thank you and hope everyone had a good, good session and had a, uh, absorbed a lot of learnings from you, your, your sharing. And, and you managed to answer most of the questions that was uh, presented to you very well. La. So from our side, we would like to say thank you and yeah. Thank you. Thanks, thanks uh, everyone for um, uh, spending your time and um, we shall keep in touch. Uh, if uh, you have any question, then uh, just let us know. We uh, will continue to update you about the market. Yep, uh, you can visit uh, Miss Rochelle's company, lacomoplus.com uh, for any other information that you guys uh, require. Lah. Yep. So thank you and thank you very much, Mr. Shell. From yep, give you a round of applause. Yep. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone.